question 12a copy and complete the table of values correct to one decimal place for the relation y equal to 3 sin s plus 2 cos s for 0 degrees less than equal to s less than equal to 360 degrees you have the table of values with some missing y values you have to get them be part of the question using scale of two centimeters to 30 degrees on the s axis and two centimeters to one unit on the y axis draw the graph of the relation y equal to 3 sin s plus 2 cos s over the given range of s values c use the graph to solve 3 sin s plus 2 cos s equal to 0 now if you got 2 2 plus 3 sin s plus 2 cos s equal to 0 so let us take the solution to this question solution a part table of values for y equal to 3 sin s plus 2 cos s for the range of values of s at interval of 30 degrees as given in the table you have 0 to 30 to 60 to 90 so the interval is 30 to get y values we need to do two things look for 3 sin s and 2 cos s this is what happened so let's take 3 sin s when s is zero you check sine zero degrees that is zero multiplied by three you have zero when s is 30 degrees you check sine 30 degrees that is 0 0.5 multiply it by three you have 1.5 we are always using one dp if you do that for the rest values you have 2.6, 3.0, 2.6, 1.5, 0, and so on to one decimal place. Then you move to 2 cos s. When s is 0 degrees, cos 0 is 1. Multiply 1 by 2, you have 2. If you come to 60, cos 60 degrees is 0 0.5 multiply by 2 you have 1.0 and so on to get the value of y you simply add the result for 3 sin s to 2 cos s so if you add this you have 2.0 if you add 1.5 and 1.7 you have 3.2 if you add 2.6 and 1.0, you have 3.6. If you add 2.6 and minus 1, you have 1.6. If you add this, you have minus 2.0. If you add this, you have minus 3.6 and so on. So next thing is to plot these points on the graph. So let's start with the given scale 2 cm to 30 degrees on the s axis and 2 cm to 1 unit on the y axis. This graph I'm using, you have each boss is 1 cm because it contains 5 lines. So if you combine, if you combine 2, 2 cm is 30 degrees 2 cm is but if you look at the values you have if you do it that way let's say here by this scale now 
here is 30 here should be 60 you have 120 here is 150 here is 180 you have 210 here is 240 followed by 270 you have 300 so it will not accommodate the values you have so the scale I use here is 2 centimeters to 60 degrees in other words 1 cm to 30 degrees so the first place here is 30 here becomes 60 you have 90 and 120 150 180 and so on then on the y axis 2 cm to 1 unit so this is 1 cm here is 2 cm you give it 1 the next 2 is 2 the next 2 is 3 if you go down you have minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 it is important that you know what one line stands for very important now on the y axis one line is 0 0.1 you have 10 lines that is one unit you divide number of units by number of lines you have one line to be 0 0.1 and on the y axis on the s axis one line is 6 degrees next is to plot the values when s is 0 degrees y is 2 you plot that point directly on the y axis when s is 30 y is 3.2 so after 3 you count two line upward because one line is 0 0.1 so you have 0 3 3.2 here against 30 when s is 60 y is 3.6 you count six lines after 3 you have 3.6 against 30 sorry against 60 when s is 90 y is 3 this is 3 against 90 when s is 120 y is 1.6 after 1 you count six line upward this is 1.6 against 120 when s is 150 y is minus 0 0.2 so you are coming down now the second line after 0 minus 0 0.2 against 150 when s is 180 y is minus 2 this is minus 2 against 180 when s is 210 this is 210 now y is minus 3.2 after minus 3 you count two lines down when s is 240 y is minus 3.6 somewhere here when s is 270 that is this point y is minus 3 somewhere here when s is 300 degrees y is minus 1.6 when s is 330 degrees y is 0 0.2 somewhere here and when s is 360 degrees y is 2 somewhere here so don't forget the title of the graph it is simply the relation that you are plotting next is to join the points together using a flexible broomstick or a very accurate free hand drawing the points have been joined together so we move to C part use the graph to solve 3 sin s plus 2 cos s equal to 0 the relation on the left hand side is what you have plotted 
and everything here is equal to y if you replace it with y it means the solution of the equation is the point or at the points of intersection of y equal to zero that is simply where the curve cuts across the s axis one point is here the curve cut the s axis at this point and another point is here so from the graph you have 144 degrees and 227 degrees you know here we said that one line is 6 degrees so if you count from 129 you have 1 2 okay 3 then you have 4 now 4 times 6 is 24 if you add to 120 you have 144 degrees Roman figure 2 you are asked to solve 2 plus 3 sin s plus 2 cos s equal to 0 this equation is not the graph that is plotted so you need to remove 2 from here for you to get the equation that is plotted if you take 2 to the right hand side it becomes minus 2 so everything here is equal to y therefore the solution occurs at y equal to minus 2 so this is minus 2 you trace it across the curve and it come in contact with the curve at two points one is here another point is here you trace the two point to the s axis and you have 180 degrees and 294 degrees as the solution to that equation Peter calls simplified maths if you are viewing and watching from YouTube subscribe to the channel like and share PSM videos if you are viewing and watching from Facebook follow and like the page also share PSM videos let us proceed to question 13 the last question in that year.